Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I have another unboxing and this one has a story behind it. So um, if you guys have been around for a long time, I think about a year ago I released a video on how to propagate begonias and it was very popular and it's got a lot of views at the moment. And um, I was contacted by Thompson and Morgan and they asked if they were if they had my, could have my permission to use that video. Um, in a begonia masterclass that they were like making on their website um so obviously i said yes that's fine um and then they asked if they could send me something as like a thank you or like as a participation gift so um here it's it's come today and as far as i'm aware i think it's begonias um but i'm gonna open it up straight away because it says uh please open immediately also if i look if my hair's like super messy, it's because I just had a nap. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, which you wasn't. Um, I'm gonna open this straight up. It looks like it's already easy. Just, there's no tape, which is good. Right. <clears throat> I do not know what I'm expecting. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, right. Okay, so they're coming in separate packages which is wow this is really i wasn't expecting this okay right let me quickly read the leaflet because it says what i'm being what i'm being sent oh wicked okay so oh right it's quite a lot actually but they're all coming in different parcels because there's only one plant in here so this is the first plant so i guess this video is going to come in like many segments Right, so as you may have just seen, the first one is a Begonia, Begonia Maculata Wayetii, and this is massive. Oh, they've actually stapled the pot into the box. Let's try and get that open. Ooh. Are we good? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That, that is in perfect condition as well, there's zero damage. Absolutely zero damage. Um, what have they put in here? So we've got a houseplant guide, which I'll have a look at. <laughs> Hopefully I won't learn anything new. <laughs> um, and then a Thompson & Morgan, like a brochure, leaflet. Weird, right, okay. So I think this video then is going to be in many sections. But look how amazing that is. So 12 centimeter apart, Begonia Maculata. Oh, that is so pretty. So I have um, a very, very small one of these because I got a, um, a cutting from Emma. Um, but this one is fully, well, very mature. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. If you guys, I don't know if Thompson and Morgan will ever see this video, but thank you so much if you do. So we've got the label as well. Yeah, Begonia Maculata. Uh, make life beautiful. That's really cool. There's a picture of a fish. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so that is wicked. I think I've got the perfect pot for that as well. I think that'll go in. I've got a... <laughs> I've got a bum planter. And I don't know whether to show it. I don't know if I'm not allowed to show it. It's not detailed, but like... I don't know. Pending. But that is so nice. And the colour of the underside of the leaf is like so deep burgundy. Oh, that is so nice. I don't know how much they sell these for because obviously I got sent these all as a gift. I say all. I've been sent this as a gift. So I don't know how much it was. But I think these are become because they're becoming or because they are very popular, they're being produced a bit more readily. So I don't think they're as expensive as they used to be. But I really don't know. If I find out, I'll put on the screen the price of this in case you're interested. But that is amazing and there is no damage at all. Like there's one tiny little like crease there and there, but like I'm amazed at that. Because that was like such minimalistic packaging. Wicked. Like they didn't even use tape. That was so cool. Wicked. I'm very happy with that. That is so nice. That's such a feature plant as well. So this is a cane begonia. Um and these grow relatively quick because the cutting I've got has grown I think two new maybe three new leaves since I've got it and this one has a new leaf coming out if you see here oh look at the color of that it's like like a really mustardy yellow oh that's lovely okay right wicked right
right so that is number one um i'll stop filming here i won't end i won't sign sign off <laughs> i won't like end the video here but um oh there's a baby growing at the bottom as well i don't know if you can see that see a little leaf coming through there I think these propagate, well, I know they propagate really easily as well, so that is wicked. Oh, I've got a side shoot coming here. Wicked. So I could always, like, I mean, when it gets too tall, I'm not going to cut it for a long time. But if it were to get too tall, I'd be able to cut it down here, and then it would branch out and grow nicely as well. Oh, I love that. I've never bought one of these before, because I've never really, well, I've never seen one in this good condition, because whenever I see them, they're, like, ripped up, damaged, etc. But this one is so lovely. Just look at the spot. Wow, I am very impressed with that. The I'm impressed with the quality. I did not think, I didn't expect anything like that. And it's got the cane topper, so you don't poke your eye out. Um, I better use that cane. Oh no, I'll leave that cane in there actually. So that oh, it's got two canes. It's got another cane here. Wicked. I'm really impressed with that. Really, really impressed. Wicked. Let me know what you guys think. That is very nice, and I'm very lucky to have that. So thank you again. Thompson and Morgan, and I will update you guys when a next parcel arrives. I'm assuming I'm going to be getting another parcel, but I don't know when. That's the thing because it's got I've got the list of items, but yeah, they just send one item at a time, or like depending on what's available at the time. So I'll see you guys when the next one turns up. Right, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, this is the second half of. A video that I filmed a very long time ago. Um, I have just received my second parcel from Thompson and Morgan. Um, so let's get straight into it. I I did look at on the invoice months ago to see what was coming, um, but I don't really remember anymore because I mean it's like I think it's been like two months maybe. Um, my address is on this side, so if I just don't show that, that'll be fine. Um, yeah, begonias. I'm pretty sure it's just begonias, begonias, begonias. I don't know. But I don't know everything. I don't know. Because they sent um, separate stuff in separate parcels. But let's get straight into it. <laughs> right. I'm not sure on how uh, like the quality of these plants is going to be because it does, like, things are moving. And I'm, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Um, okay, right. There should be multiple things in here, so what I want to do is reach in and pull one thing out at a time, rather than just looking straight in, so that I don't, um, I don't know, because it's a bit, like, it's, it feels like a bit of a surprise, because I haven't looked at the invoice. Okay. Right. Let's. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> that's just an empty box. <laughs> Let's throw that away. Let's go. Invoice leaves. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, we've got something. Okay, I don't want to look because I can see stuff. Oh, oh, how did that not get damaged? They are like not even packed. Okay, so this is Begonia Rex Hybrid King's Spirit. And that is really, how has that not been damaged? I have no idea. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to take this wrapper off because it's loud. Oh, that is so nice. Let's get this label out. It's not rocket science. Begonia Rex, good for your life. Obviously. <laughs> Who would argue that? Um, cool. This is well nice because it's got like the red underleaf. And then it's got like the really grey. And you guys know I love grey foliage, like bluey grey foliage. Oh, that's nice. I'm sh I'm genuinely shocked that that is not damaged. These must the box must have literally been kept upright the entire journey. Oh, that's so pretty, and you can really see like the iridescent. That looks like really velvet grey. That's lovely. I don't know why this sticks in here. I'll leave it in there. Oh, that is lovely. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Because I knew I was getting begonias, but I thought they were just going to be like six centimeter begonias or something. Right, that's another box. Okay, here we go. Oh. What do we have? Oh, I recognise this one. I think this one is the same variety that Emma Greenwood sent me. Um, as a cutting. Oh, I'm going to have to clean this floor up afterwards. 
Ooh, yeah, I think it, yeah, it looks very similar, right. What variety? Oh, we don't have a variety label on this one. I mean, I just pulled that label out, but that didn't have the name on it. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is a Begonia Rex cultivar, um, unknown. But that is gorgeous, like real dark velvet. And again, not damaged. Like, I mean, we've got a couple of bent leaves, like this one's coming off. Get rid of that one. But that is very pretty. Yeah, and I mean, like, I've got, no, actually, the propagations don't look similar. They've got a lot more pink and green in them, whereas this is a lot more berg, like, pink and deep, like, black almost. That's lovely. I really like that. I'm going to have to find space for all these because I really don't have space. So far, my favourite is definitely the first one, the King, what was it, King? Where was the label? Oh, it was on this... Oh, okay. Right, sorry, this... <laughs> confused um this is begonia rex hybrid helen two p two pel helen helen two pel i don't know if you can read that so that's that one and then the other one was king oh king's king's spirit yeah right okay so we've got that on there um i think there's only one more Oh, we've got a pamphlet. Right, we have one more begonia. This is the last begonia that I can see. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, this is Escargo. Cool, okay, right. Let's get this, one. this is Begonia Rex Escargo. This looks different to what I was expecting. I've seen Escargos before, like in store, I think. Oh, I'm covered in dirt. Like in, um, oh, sorry, in, garden centers and this looks like different to what I remember them looking like but that is so pretty and it's got the swirly foliage and as it gets older it like swells a bit more I believe or more mature I'd say let's get rid of these labels so that is really pretty and I'm looking forward to getting these open so they can kind of like spread out a bit let's try and get this off now so I can open this one up This is very exciting. Thank you very much, Thompson and Morgan, for these gifts. Um, so yeah, these were sent to me because they wanted to include my Begonia propagation tutorial on their website. Um, on one of their forums, they do like, um, uh, they had like a Begonia forum where they included loads of people's um, like useful information. I just forgot that I had a title on my arm for a second then. Um, where they included loads of useful information about propagating and growing Begonias. And so they emailed me and asked if they could use it. And I said, of course, because it's there to be used. Um, and they offered to send me some plants as a gift, which is very kind of them. Um, that's looking really lovely. And the soil is nice and moist, but not too wet. I can feel like from the weight of it, that it's not too wet. So that's good. Wicked. I'm going to get these canes out of here. Oh, that's pretty. And it's in a good size pot as well. So I don't need to repot it. I can keep it in that pot for like, for a good probably half a year probably a year to be completely honest but i'll play it by ear and see how it goes but that's really good um yeah wicked i'm happy with that and it's not in coir by the looks of it i mean it's probably in some sort of peat mix but um i won't need to mix i won't need to change out the soil so that's really good wicked i think i definitely prefer, like my favorite what can you see about no. um my favorite is definitely the king's spirit so far because that is incredible and i'll be able to propagate these <laughs> So that's wicked. Oh, right. I'm gonna open up this one as well. Uh, we do have one more thing in there, um, which I'll grab in a second. Let's get this open. Get the cane out. I'll keep, I always keep these. If ever, because um, I've bought a lot of plants that have these canes in, I often keep them because they do tend to be useful somewhere down the line. like. They're one of those things that when you throw them away, you regret throwing away because you then find a use for them. But they're also one of those things that clutters your shed. <laughs> right, there we go. Just taking that out. That is lovely. It's so big. I, I love the colour. And it complements my shirt. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, that's my favourite. Definitely my favourite. Yeah, because they sent me the Begonia Maculata here, the YTI. 
They sent me that one. They then sent me a second one. I'll grab it. I still haven't taken the paper off of it. No, the, pl the plastic. Yeah, so I've got that one over there. And then they sent me a second one, which is just as spectacular. Like, it's huge. And I've still left... I've left the um, packaging on it just so that it dries out slower. Because, like, you guys know that I never really... I've never overwatered any of my plants, so that's never been the cause of death. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this one's really nice and it's got two stems. You see there's a second stem here. So oh, the backs of those are so nice. Yeah, I was debating whether to plant them both in one pot or just to keep them separate, but I'm probably just gonna keep them separate. Um, and because there's two, like I already have that one. Um, I probably, I don't know, they're really nice though. It's just been like on top of Sprout's enclosure. So it looks really good up there, but I may um, give give this to someone that wants one um, because I do have two. Well, I've got three actually because I've got that one that I propagated for. Well, that Emma Greenwood sent me a propagation of. Anyway, yeah, so they sent me that one as well. They're amazing, but they uh, they they um they're coming really. I think they've like almost peaked at like how popular they're going to get because they're now in B and Q and all the. Um, supermarkets <laughs> I couldn't think of the word um, yeah so I think they've like peaked in popularity and they're probably going to start like declining in popularity again now um, but like not for me because I've never had one these are the first well I've only got them this year I've never had one previously let's get this off These are, I'm literally so surprised at how well these have been packaged, like, well, how well they travelled, because there was no other packaging in there, they were just all, like, fit really well together, and the box does say keep this way up, but, like, luckily this time the the postal service listened. <laughs> um, so, yeah, really good, like, they've come perfectly. We've got, like, mild damage, but I, I'm not one to moan about mild damage, like, because that is absolutely to be expected when you're sending plants but yeah they look so good wicked but i do need to find spaces for them <laughs> right the last thing in the box mm -hmm. right so the last thing in the box we have some i've never used anything like this in my house plants i remember when i was a kid when i was young um i used them for my orchids not these ones but i used like little drip feeders for my orchids but i never used them for any houseplants but these are just um houseplant so it's actually houseplant fertilizer but it doesn't say what's in there interesting yeah so maybe i'll check on the website to see what's in them because i'm assuming there's going to be the information online um yeah so i've got three houseplant drip feeders um, the only thing with these is that if you're putting them directly into like dry soil, it can often absorb the entire bottle in like a day, um, which is not what they are intended for. So they're intended to like be quite slow releasing. Um, so they might work better for something with something that isn't super, super dry. They're really cool. I, I might use them for, I don't know, what do I, because I don't fertilise my plants in here at all. Um... I could, no, I was going to say I could try it with one of the Hoyas, but I don't know. Everything's growing really well on its own, but I'll, I'll definitely try them. Oh, I want to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll show you now. Yeah, so thank you, Thompson and Morgan, very much. Thank you. Um, but I'm just going to show you because I bought some Caladiums from Farmer Gracie. I bought them in, I think I bought them around Christmas time, and I got like a 15% discount. Um, and then I, yeah, they came about a month ago, maybe. And I planted them up and they're growing, so I'm going to show you guys. So I've never actually grown caladiums before. I was going to buy one on Etsy last year, but then I ended up not getting it because it was coming into autumn. And they very often, or from what I understood at the time, they often go into dormancy around that time of year. Um, very similarly to alocasias and colocasias, um, because they are herbaceous. Um, however, I think if you kept these, I don't know, I've never kept caladiums before, so I'm not going to talk about them like I know what I'm talking about. But I think 
you should be able to keep these up all year. If, if the temperature in your house doesn't fluctuate, fluc fluctuate too much and um, you keep the level of watering exactly the same throughout the entire year, they should stay up anyway. Um, but these, th these, this is my um, Caladium Cran Cranberry Star and it's just opened, this leaf has just opened today and you can see why it's called Cranberry Star because it gets the, like pink blotches in the middle. Uh, this one opened the other day, that was the first one, and it doesn't have any of the colouring. But you can really see the colouring on that one. And like, so this was one bulb, and they were £5.95 each, which I was very happy about, because when you go to a garden centre and buy caladiums, they are upwards of £18 for like, just a single one. Which, I mean, I, I think caladiums seem to be relatively new to the... The house plant scene i don't know like I've, I've never ever noticed them before until up until like last year and then they really started like people started hyping about them so this yeah what i was i was saying look how many are coming up in here so it's just one bulb i don't know if it's a bulb or like a corm um yeah probably i don't know i'm not i'm not 100 certain but we have so much growth coming up here like this is going to be really full and I'm probably going to end up repotting it again. Yeah, there's roots coming out the bottom, so I'm not going to repot it anytime soon. I'm going to let it really establish, fill out the um, pot, like get, not root bound, but I want it to be able to hold the soil together when I pull it out of the pot. Um, that little leaf is cute, isn't it? It's like just green. Um, yeah, so that is really nice. And I, I don't know, I think like, it's, I think it's probably a misconception, but I think a lot of people find it quite um, intimidating trying to grow alocasias, um, caladiums, colocasias from bulb or like from the tube, like the corm, uh, because it, it does sound tricky. Like it just does sound tricky. I don't know why, but it just does. But like this has worked perfectly fine. And I followed the instructions. It said if you just keep it in a warm, like a relatively warm environment and then water it, <laughs> who knew? Um, and it'll, it'll come up within a couple of weeks. And I think this came up in three, maybe four. I think it's maybe it's fourth week now. I didn't write the date on it because it's, I just didn't. Um, so they've come up really quick. The second one isn't showing so much growth. Um, well, it's got like this large one coming up, which is going to be really cool when it opens. And then there's a second little leaf coming up. You can't see it, but um, this one's actually a little bit wetter than the last one. Oh, but the roots are going crazy. So these, I think you can grow these outside, um, but they obviously recommend, I think you're supposed to protect, protect them over the winter because I don't know if they're like fully winter hardy. I don't think they are. Um, where was I going with that? They like, um, I believe they like dappled shade, not too much direct sun, so that they do better in shady um, environments. For, I think very similar to hostas. So they like to be, in a lot of organic matter, like high organic matter, and then uh, relatively like good moisture levels in the soil, like not boggy wet, but not dry. I think that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they like. I haven't read it up about them in a while, but that was what I understood at the time. So this, yeah, this guy, which one is this? This is Rosebud. Um, yeah, I can't remember what this one looked like, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll stick a picture on here for you. I could potentially use the fertilizer with these once they get actively growing. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend fertilizing something when it's like not actively. Well, it's actively growing but not quickly. Whereas the other caladium is actively growing relatively quick. Um, so I could potentially use one on that. I might do that right now. Actually, this is where I would like to know the P, uh, the NPK levels in these because it doesn't say on here. No, because. The caladiums are going to want higher nitrogen. Um, I've never actually seen a caladium flower. I can't imagine it will be very impressive. But yeah, so the nitrogen will promote the green growth. Uh, potassium is flowers and fruit. And then um, phosphorus is root growth. Or Yeah, so like, yeah. Um, so I'll figure out the NPK and then I'll decide whether I want to use this, these in the caladiums. But actually thinking about it, the caladiums are probably the best thing that I can use them for. Because I wouldn't want to use it on something that I'm like super excited about, like my philodendron varicose, and I don't want to use it on that. Like I could 
but I don't just in case there's any negative effect, which there won't be, but I don't want to take the risk. If it's doing fine as it is, I don't really want to play around with it. Um, yeah, maybe my philodendron birkin, potentially. I don't know. We think about it. Um, but I'm going to leave it there because that was all I wanted to do was open the box. And yeah. Yeah, so thank you again, Thompson and Morgan, for sending me those plants. Um, I really appreciate it. And I thank you for reaching out to me. That was really, it was nice. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.